Hey my friends, this is Lay Boy Scout hanging out at a Gunny's Range Day, getting ready to try the Smith & Wesson Shield in 9mm. This is a gun I've been really anxious to get my hands on and give a try to. It's been out for quite a while now, as you know, but uh, this is the first chance I've had to put a few rounds through it. I'm excited. Thanks to Gunny's for giving me this chance to try it. Let's put some rounds down range. So we got the eight round mag right here. It also comes with a seven round mag. It is semi-staggered. You can kind of see that by the width of the magazine, which makes for the added capacity. And uh, to get a roughly single stack magazine or something as slim as this shield is, and be able to get eight rounds in it or seven rounds, depending on the magazine, very, very cool. Let's fire a few more shots. Now I've become quite comfortable with the trigger on the MMP series of handguns. I would say that the shield is better than my MMP9, the trigger on it at least. Not sure why that is. I'll do a little dry fire and see if I can get a sense for how it breaks. It seems to be a little bit lighter than the standard MMP series. I could be wrong about that, but based on just what I'm detecting and trying the gun out, it feels a little bit lighter and easier to manage. I like that. This version of the shield does have a safety, a little thumb safety right here, making it possible for you to employ a safety if you like having a safety. I'd probably just leave that off and uh, keep it holstered myself. However, it seems to be a very solid gun, very well built. I like the uh, design of it. It's completely reminiscent of the M&P series. It's an M&P, really. It's just an M&P shield. Yeah, the trigger on this Smith & Wesson M&P 9 shield is very pleasant. I like the capacity, I like the size, I love the way it fits in hand. Honestly, if I didn't already own a single stack 9 in the car CM9, I would definitely be choosing this as my carry gun. In fact, who knows, I may switch up at some point. Now that I know how sweet this gun is, how good it feels, I, I think it's probably better than my car CM9. <laughs> I think it probably is. The question would be, how well does it carry? Does it carry as well as the car? That uh, handle is a bit longer, the grip there is a bit longer than the car, it's a bit wider than the car. Would that make it too difficult to carry? I don't know. It is a bit heavier. The slide is quite a bit blockier, there's a lot more steel in this gun than in the car. However, what it comes down to for me is kind of slimness. And uh, this gun seems to have that. So I don't know. Like I said before, the shield, if I were doing it all over again, I might shop for this as my single stack 9. Highly recommended from the very little experience I have with it. Thanks again to Gunnies for allowing, for allowing me to try this gun out today. I'm a late Boy Scout. Thanks for watching. Final thoughts on the M&P 22 by Smith & Wesson. It's just what I hoped it would be. A nice little practice slash training pistol that mirrors the M&P 9.